I'm Lance Lysowski, the Sabres beat writer from the Buffalo News. Hockey is back. Well, of course, the All-Star game was played in Toronto over the weekend, but the Sabres are returning from their bye week slash All-Star break. They resumed practice Sunday in KeyBank Center, only six days after I broke the news that Jack Quinn underwent surgery to repair a lower body injury that will keep the young winger out for approximately eight weeks. Another devastating blow was dealt to this team on Sunday or whenever they learned the news that Matthias Samuelson, their shut down top pair defenseman who's often skating next to Rasmus Dahlin, is out for the season. Now Samuelson had been playing much better as of late. In that shutdown role, very good on the penalty kill, skating next to Dahlin routinely, much more consistent. It's been an up and down season for Samuelson. And he explained to me a few weeks ago in a story that you can read on, online in the Buffalo News, putting too much pressure on himself, signed that seven year contract last year and just too much in his head. One negative play had been affecting him too much. His play had really stabilized more recently, had gotten more responsibility back, had been playing the way that he was last year when he was at his best. That game in Anaheim, which is about two weeks ago at this point, suffered an upper body injury. Didn't miss any time in that game, but he sat out the, the wins over the Los Angeles Kings and the San Jose Sharks before the Sabres learned that Samuelson is going to need surgery. It's a very big hole for them to fill. You could make a very strong case that they're not going to be able to fill it at all. You know, this team has played much better with Samuelson out of the lineup this season. Their record is much, much better than it was a year ago. Part of that is adding Connor Clifton and Eric Johnson. And another big piece of that is other guys in this lineup have been able, have been able to step up. Owen Power is starting to kill penalties. Rasmus Dahlin, the consistency hasn't always been there this season. Too up and down. Um, the power play has been a real problem from him, of course, but... There's more consistency across the board. Henry Okiharu's been better. They have more guys who are capable of playing that 20 minutes a game you're looking for from one of your top four defensemen. So as we sit here on Sunday evening, still two days out from the Sabres' first game post-break, they host the Dallas Stars on Tuesday night in KeyBank Center, you're going to see a few different players take on more responsibility. Henry Okiharu, you might see him more on the penalty kill. He skated in practice with Darlene again on Sunday. That's been a good pair. You know, they were they haven't been together as often as fans may have may like or, you know, even the coaching staff would like because Henry Oki argues game like a lot of others on this team. The consistency hasn't been there. You know, Owen Power was with Jacob Bryson. We'll see if that if that lasts. Eric Johnson's expected to be ready to play on Tuesday. So we could see some some fluctuation with the pairs, a few changes. But Connor Clifton's another guy. He's been much much better the last approximately two months we you, we could really trace it back to his return to Boston when since we've really started to see Connor Clifton play like the defenseman the Sabres were expecting to get when they signed him to a three-year contract in the summer he's a right shot I am really curious to see if the Sabres try to get him in a higher role maybe per, perhaps next to the Dolly and those two were together throughout training camp Saw a lot of potential. They they seem to read off each other really well, but it's not a pairing that we've seen much in the regular season. Right now, I think that as they get out of their break, they start to play games again, continuity is going to be sort of the theme that Granado is going to lean on. It's a lot easier for guys who are comfortable with each other, who are accustomed with each other's tendencies to be out there, especially when they're facing top players, top lines. So really, this is a chance for Henry Okiharu to show that he can be a consistent top four defenseman. He's going to have the opportunity. There's really nobody in Rochester right now that you could see as that, that obvious candidate to be elevated to the NHL roster unless there's an injury. Um, with Eric Johnson coming back, the Sabres are going to have, what, Seven healthy defensemen, perhaps, with Jacob Bryson, Ryan Johnson's another another player that we might see get some more ice time. But this is a challenging situation for the Sabres. They gave Matias Samuelson that seven-year contract prior to last season. He's been good when he's on the ice. It just its health has been a challenge for him. Consistently healthy, of course. His style of play is going to lend itself to some more bumps and bruises. Um, so hopefully. They're going to be looking for this surgery to, to cure some of what's ailed him a bit, but 
It is certainly an opportunity for the Sabres to see what Owen Power can do when he's on the ice against top lines. What can Connor Clifton do? This is a chance for them to maybe perhaps showcase Eric Johnson a little bit more for a potential trade. The pending UFA is going to be a name to watch as we get closer to the March 8th trade deadline. If the Sabres fall out of it, Kevin Adams is going to be getting a lot of calls on Eric Johnson. Uh, Stanley Cup champion, 35 years old, almost 1,000 games, regular season experience. Well, mostly a third pair guy, strictly a third pair guy in Buffalo this season, but will they give him more ice time? It's not going to be an easy situation for the Sabres to handle. They've got to deal with that. Of course, I'm referring to the Samuelson injury, but also the Quinn injury. Zach Benson's going to be asked to, to skate in, in the top six. He immediately gets inserted in that Dylan Cousins on that line with Dylan Cousins and J.J. Paterka taking Jack Quinn's spot on the left wing. So, Still two more days to go. Sabres host the Stars on Tuesday night. We might get some clarity on who's who's going to be playing with with who. What's the penalty kill going to look like without Samuelson? No matter what, though, we know it's going to be a big hole for the Sabres to fill. I'm Lance Lysowski with the Buffalo News. Thanks again.